To Sharon Burns, it seemed like a reasonable request. Just last month, for the first time, Wayne Knopp, the property owner, granted her and her group access to the Battleford Industrial School Cemetery. 74 people are buried there, most are children. For the first time, Indigenous elders and families and non-Indigenous community members visited the cemetery. So when Burns asked to take a group of grade 12 Native Studies students up to his property to view the cemetery, she assumed it would be a yes. But a month after she tried to contact him, there was still no response. As part of their studies of the history and the time and issues that are facing uh, people here in our community, we wanted to go up to the industrial school site and then also walk to the cemetery and have a chance to uh, view the graveyard, um, look at the names that are there listed on the cairn. We were possibly going to do a bit of cleanup on the site as well. It's fairly overgrown right now. Then some news. Wayne Knopp said yes to the students. Still, he was non-committal about future access. He said in the past he worries people will party on the site rather than respect it. And that worries the group made up of Burns and two Battleford area lawyers. They've been successful in getting the cemetery set as a municipal heritage site, but they're still hitting roadblocks in planning visits and community gatherings at the site. I spoke to Wayne Knopp, but he didn't want to be quoted or speak on the record. I also spoke to the Registrar of Cemeteries for the province. He says according to the Cemeteries Act, landowners need to give reasonable access to the public. That means in any place where a body is interred. Uh, he also says that his office may need to get involved in order to find a reasonable solution for all parties involved. Bridget Yard, CBC News, Saskatoon.